So you've decided to upgrade to Windows 11 and you try to use Typhoon Burner. You upgraded from Windows 10. And uh, when you try to use Typhoon Burner, you're greeted with this. <laughs> and you're not able to use it. All right, I've, I've looked on the internet for workarounds and I even went to the Typhoon Burner website to see if they have a new version that is compatible with Windows 11. But no, there isn't. It just doesn't work. Um, there is a workaround though, and it's this will for sure work. Um, however, I don't recommend that you leave this on. I suggest that you only use it for on a temporary basis. You know, do whatever you need to do and then turn it back on. Don't leave it off. Uh, you need to go into your registry like this. So just type reg edit in your search here and it'll bring you to this. Okay. You need to go to local machine system, current control set control, and then go to CI and then just highlight config. Just highlight it. Don't go into the next folder here. Highlight config. You will come to this here. Double click on it. Change the one to zero. OK. Close it. Um, you need to reboot. So let me show you what what happens next. All right. So we're back on the desktop. Now, if we double click on Typhoon Burner. It works. So you get all your specs, whatever. But um, I strongly suggest that you, you know, whenever you're done getting the information that you need to get about your memory, that you re-enable this. Don't leave this off because it is part of your security on Windows 11. So um, me, myself, I have it off. I don't, you know, I don't want this interfering with a uh, typhoon burner, but that's just me. Um, I'm not going around downloading things that, you know, I shouldn't be downloading or looking at things I shouldn't be looking at. Um, and I especially don't download things from, um, uh, you know, sites that are not reputable, like, you know, tech power up. That's a reputable site. I, I trust them. I, I'm okay with their stuff, but, um, yeah, if, um, if you leave this open, you know, you're opening yourself up for an attack or a Trojan virus or whatever, and that could destroy your computer. You, that means you have to reinstall Windows and, you know, you're going to lose or you might lose all your information, your photos and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, turn that back on. Don't leave it off. Um, but that's it. Yeah, that's the workaround to Typhoon Burner not working with Windows 11. I don't know what else to add to that. That is it. I hope you guys uh, find this useful. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.